Well, here at Easton, at Hot Chicken Takeover, it's simple food with a kick and a business with vision. First, the chicken. It's fried and as spicy as you want it. Next, the sides. Waffles, mac and cheese, or coleslaw. Fresh banana pudding and ma sweet tea. That's it. First question, why fried chicken? Why well, fried chicken? This is the question we get a lot. You know, I fell in love with uh, a style of fried chicken when we took a trip down to Nashville and felt like this is something that's missing in our community. And so we got started. And um, I think fried chicken is, fried chicken is kind of a great human kind of equalizer at this moment. Um, everybody has a connection or a legacy to fried chicken in their family. And uh, we love it. And so it seems like a food that brings people together. So your menu, I noticed, is just one page. Why so short? Why keep it simple? Yeah, we have a very lean menu. And we want to provide excellent food in, in really a rich kind of hospitality environment. It makes you feel like you're at a family reunion or a potluck. For us, like fried chicken is, is simple food. And so we don't want to overcomplicate it with too many variations, too many side dishes. We want to serve great food uh, that you can share with people you care about or share with strangers you meet when you're sitting at one of these long tables. So your business model kind of has a social justice uh, platform, if you would, yeah. uh, to it. Who do you hire and, and, and yeah. why? So we have, a, we have a very intentional strategy as an employer to provide uh, work opportunities to men and women that have been affected by incarceration uh, in the past. We call this fair chance employment. Uh, it works out that 60 or 70 percent of our team members are men and women that are getting back on their feet and kind of establishing a future story for themselves, uh, and we get the privilege of being alongside of that. Now, I read somewhere about your business, about how you go about um, your everyday yeah. doings in the, in the company, is that you are concerned about people's future and not harping on their past That's very for, your, true. for your company. Yeah, you know, when you, when you start to unpack the circumstance that leads many people to, to get one of these alternative resumes, which is internally how we refer to a criminal record often, you realize that these are, these are not uh, men and women void of integrity. It's not about character, but rather the circumstance associated with their environment, their neighborhood, their community that has, has gone down a path um, that has assembled this alternative resume. And so we're really proud that we have a high integrity team that work incredibly hard for us, that perform better than most others in our industry. And it's, a, it's kind of the bedrock and the foundation of our business's success too. So you've got flexible scheduling, you've got counseling. What about the profit? What about the bottom line? Uh, how, yeah. do you, how do you make that happen? We're able to run a really healthy business operation because our team is incredibly reliable, efficient, and productive, you know? And, and so when you talk to a lot of employers in our category, those are not adjectives they often use to describe their workforce. And so we believe our business is strong because our people are strong. Um, in terms of those benefits, you know, thinking about supporting somebody through a match savings program or a cash advance system or um, mental health counseling or, you know, support in any of these, the reality is there's a, a pretty significant return for that. Um, uh, if somebody has adequate transportation, the likelihood they're coming to work on time, a lot higher. Um, uh, there are a lot of instances like that where we actually believe we're making not just investments in our employees, but really an investment in ourselves as a company. So was this just sort of put into your spirit to do something like this, or was this uh, something you had saw somewhere else or thought yeah. about over the years? How did this happen? So I've been doing this work now for about 10 years in a variety of different settings. Hot, Hot Chicken Takeover has been running for about four years. This is, of course, a, a pretty successful application of the model. Uh, but there are others doing this. Um, and for me, I, I, I became passionate about this as kind of a combination of really loving entrepreneurship and building businesses, and also um, really, really having a lot of volunteerism kind of as a, a, a fabric through my life. And this became kind of an intersection to do it sustainably and really efficiently and um, to do both. You started kind of small and yeah. you grew. Now you're expanding. What have been some of the challenges in ex expanding yeah. the business? O over the course of the last 12 months, our business has uh, quadrupled in terms of team size and um, probably grew our operating hours by about five times. So a lot of growing pains associated with that. We went from one restaurant to three restaurants in about six months. 
Um, and so I, I think what we've realized is culture is kind of the, the bedrock uh, of hot chicken success and the way we treat our employees, the way we treat our customers. Many of those things over the course of this kind of growth, we had to really start thinking about how do we train people, whether it's training managers or training crew members, how do we train people to honor what makes this so special? Uh, and that's something I think easy to take for granted when you're running a more isolated operation. And so much of our growing pains were trying to keep up with how do we get more people on board quickly to do the best of what we do. So now, um, we've got some uh, banana pudding here, which is one of my favorites. And um, before we taste test this, my mother-in-law makes a mean banana pudding. So I'm gonna taste test this and see if this can if you can give her if a I can from rival. Yeah. Well, you yeah. just hold your reaction until the cameras go down. Okay. So then that way, she won't know. <laughs> okay, we'll see. That's good. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Belong, for this time, and we, we wish you a lot of luck. Mm.